All right, folks, here we have a lame unboxing, everyone's favorite thing on earth. Who who really wants to watch an unboxing, right? So, um, I'm just going to take this out of the, uh, the plastic bubble wrap off cam because, I mean, you'll see. Who wants to see that? And plus, I mean, of course, anyone who buys pedals from me knows my address, but I don't want random crazies knowing it. So, let's rip this open. Let's take that out first. Okay. Yeah, we'll see this now. All right. I usually don't do unboxing videos because they're lame, but, 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 but I had to show you this. I'm so excited. I usually buy cheap used pedals, but to celebrate. Uh, come on, push! Uh! Well, that wasn't much for our efforts. Let's try again. Uh, okay, that came out easier. Anyways, I don't usually buy expensive pedals, but I wanted to reward myself for um, getting a good job, and also I just wanted an excuse to get this pedal. So, the old synth punk, formerly known as Chipmunk Jones, told me about this Blamo pedal company. I think they're called are they called Blamo pedals or Blamo Electronics? I'm not sure. I think it's Blamo Electronics. Anyways, two dudes out of Oregon, I think. Um what I love about their pedals is not only are they affordable for being like handmade pedals, they're also through hole. So through hole combined with being affordable and American, all that together is just it's a no brainer. And then when I saw that they had a this awesome like limited edition like modified rat. It's the coolest pedal they make, honestly, and they're limiting it to only 50 units. And you would think, okay, if they're limiting to a pedal to 50 units, it's probably going to be expensive. What, five, six hundred dollars, right? Nope, it's two hundred dollars. So, um, that's pretty fairly priced, honestly, for what it is. Really. Um, I don't know if I can make it for that. Especially not with a cool artwork on it. All right. So, here we are. Here it is. The Death Pedal, number 29. So, only around 30 of these have been ordered so far. That's crazy. They're limiting this to 50 units, right? This is cool, 29. I would have expected it to have been higher. Like, I was thinking, like, I was probably probably in the 40s by now. But, man, this don't sleep on this pedal. Do not sleep on this pedal. If you like darker tones, especially if you love the rat, you know, I'm not a guitar player, but I, I'm not really on the side of the modern guitar player where they love to boost their mids and they love this clean, sparkly tone. That's not for me. Um, when I hear guitars, I want them dark, dirty, just like I love 80s freaking black metal. I love old school death metal, all that kind of stuff. So I like a harsher and more muffled and uh, darker tone. So this is definitely up my alley. But it has some mods to the rat. It's not... So this is um based on... What was the company? What was the company? If you go... Okay, if you go to Blamo, uh, Blamo Electronics, is, is it? I think it is. Let me check. It might say on the packing slip. Well, let's see here. Like I said, this is all on the fly. This isn't like pre-recorded, pre-planned because that's so artificial and fake. We don't do that kind of stuff here when we don't have to. But um, it might say on the inside who they worked with. But I'll open it up. Great. Am I going to be able to open this one-handed? I don't want to rip the box. Because I want to be able to go, he has the box. You know, so we're not ruining the box. But um, it's it's smaller than I thought. Which I guess is a good thing. For me, it doesn't matter because I don't, I'm not a guitarist. So I just have them on my, whoa, so it is smaller than I thought it would be. That's cool. I thought it was going to be like a big, like muff style, like an old muff style pedal, but it's not that size. So here we go. Here we have it. This is the pedal. Look at this. Look at this. We have this very intimidating pink bubble wrap. And here it is. The death pedal. Look at this thing. I thought this was a chicken at first. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a chicken. But it's a human with their head ripped off. I, I like to think that that's a Karen who said turn down the music. And this little demonic rat thing just ripped off her head. That's, that's what I like to believe this is. 
I want to believe that's a Karen who got her uh, just deserved punishment. But anyways, you know, you got level, an octave, a clip. I think it's, yeah, I think it has an octave up on this, which is interesting. Um, um, clipping, filler, gain, volume. You can read more about this pedal, but let's see. Uh, Blemo Electronics. Yes, I'm correct. Oh, hold on. I have a phone call. Wait a second. Eh, I'll just, I'll, I'll just call them back afterwards. Um, I don't want to mess with the call. I mean, mess with the video. So anyways, Blamo Electronics. Cool little sticker there. This is who they worked with. They worked with uh, Dirty Haggard Audio. I think they're also a pedal company. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they are. And we also got this cool Blamo pick. It's cool. It'll never be used. It'll be collected. I do collect picks. Um, usually ones that I get in concerts from people throwing them. And there we go. I love it. This cool sticker. I don't know. Do I collect this or do I stick it on my uh, Yamaha EX5 synth that's been sticker bombed? But yeah, that's it. Pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. We got unit 29. Um, I don't know if the unit itself is numbered. Maybe on the inside. I'm not going to open it up. I don't want to. But, um, yeah. Pretty cool. Look at this. Look at those graphics. That's pretty nice. I like that he has the gold chain with the little pentagram. Pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you all for watching this video.